As Fox News hosts continue to criticize vaccine mandates as some sort of a liberal authoritarian plot, I find it really fascinating how they're all remaining conspicuously silent on the policy instituted by their employer, Fox News. Because believe it or not, the vaccine policy at Fox News is even more strict than the one put into place by the Biden administration. And the White House actually praised Fox News, sarcastically of course, for instituting their own version of a vaccine mandate. And the company was even called out by a former Fox News host, Eric Bowling. Quote, Fox was attacked from the right by a former employee, Eric Bowling. Now on the conservative network Newsmax, Bowling said Wednesday night that network leaders are pushing the wrong policies. So while Fox hosts bemoan and complain about the liberals who are forcing Americans to get vaccinated, they themselves are doing the same thing. And that is the textbook definition of hypocrisy, he said. And Eric Bowling may be wrong about virtually every other issue, but when it comes to the hypocrisy of Fox News's hosts, he's absolutely correct here. This is hypocritical. So why won't Fox hosts condemn their company's policy or even at a minimum address it? Well, finally, one of them decided to speak up. Tucker Carlson, of course. And uh, what he says here is interesting because he doesn't actually condemn Fox News's policy. Rather, he chooses to deny that they have a vaccine mandate altogether. This I always get a kick out of. Fox News. <laughs> Fox News requires vaccinations for all employees. Give me a break. Fox News. Now, to be clear, we just have a show on this channel. That's it. We don't run the company and we would never presume to speak for the company. But as a factual matter, what Joe Biden just said is completely untrue. It is a lie, period. We can say that with authority since we work here. Every day, literally alone among big media outlets, Fox News defends this country's most basic civil liberties, what we used to refer to as the Bill of Rights. To cynical authoritarians like Joe Biden and the ghouls around him like Susan Rice, that just can't be genuine. They assume the people you see on Fox News must be pretending, pretending for money or prestige or ratings or something else. But they are wrong. We are not pretending at all. It's real. Oh, is that so? Well, then, I'm sure you'd have no problem disclosing your vaccination status. Right, Tucker? Yeah, didn't think so. He's not going to do that because then he looks like a gigantic fraud. Because we all know, I know it, you know it, he knows it, that he is vaccinated. I'm sure he was vaccinated as soon as he became eligible. He's vaccinated, but if he tells the truth about his vaccination status, then after fear-mongering about the COVID-19 vaccines, he looks like a fraud to his audience. And furthermore, it's really hard to believe that Fox News doesn't have this sort of a policy when there's evidence that they have this policy and Fox News themselves, they put out this video uh, where they've celebrated their 25-year anniversary. And would you look at that? Every single person is wearing masks. Every single person. So Tucker knows what he's doing, but I mean, he's a propagandist. So what he could do is just uh, pretend like he is as principled as he is in actuality. And he could just say, look, I'm not vaccinated. We know that that's, uh, you know, that's not true. But, you know, he might not want to do that because perhaps he has an issue with lying. I mean, I lie if I'm really cornered or something. I lie. Oh, OK. Well, then never mind. But look, maybe it's the case that Tucker Carlson hasn't actually gotten vaccinated. We don't know because he hasn't disclosed the status yet, but in the event he hasn't gotten the vaccine and he actually is walking the walk, well then, uh, here's what his life is like working at Fox News. As Justin Bargona of The Daily Beast explains, while Fox has boasted that over 90% of its staffers are vaccinated, it is not requiring all of its employees to get the shot. Instead, the company is requiring daily testing for those who refuse to get the jab or haven't revealed their vaccination status. So technically, you could still work at Fox News and not be vaccinated, but if that's the case, then you will be subjected to daily COVID-19 tests. And let me remind you that that's more strict than the policy put into place by the Biden administration. So OSHA is going to mandate that uh, companies with more than 100 employees, if they don't require vaccines, and they subject those employees to weekly uh, COVID-19 testing. But Fox News is saying, mm, if you're not going to get the vaccination or you're not going to tell us what your vaccination status is, you're going to get tested every single day to continue working here. But yet, Tucker Carlson hasn't spoken out against that. 
And, you know, you can make the case that technically this isn't a real mandate since there is a test out option, but Tucker Carlson says that the Biden administration's policy is effectively a vaccine mandate and that it's bad. So if that is a vaccine mandate and it's draconian, then by his own standards, the Fox News vaccine mandate or vaccine policy, whatever he wants to call it, is worse. It's orders of magnitude worse. So based on his own standards, based on his principles, he should be more outraged at the vaccine policy of his employer than the one instituted by the White House. But yet, he won't condemn Fox News. And now, when he finally addresses it, he just denies. He's lying. We know he's lying. So the question is, if he's really a principled truth teller, why won't he call out his employer? If you're as against vaccine mandates as you say you are, wouldn't it be logical to condemn your employer? It just it doesn't make sense why he won't do this. It's almost like he's full of shit. And usually I don't go out of my way to share MSNBC clips because I have my issues with that network as well. But there's a clip from uh, Chris Hayes, which is really worth sharing because he kind of calls Tucker Carlson's bluff. He says, listen, if you truly believe that the vaccines are bad and vaccine mandates are bad, then of course you have no choice. You have to call out your employer. Otherwise you look like a fraud. Take a look. I think Tucker Carlson is going to quit Fox News. Now, hear me out, okay? Fox News, as I have told you, is running one of the most destructive disinformation campaigns I've ever seen. It's exacerbating one of the deadliest periods in American history. Media Matters found the channel pushed claims undermining vaccines 99% of the days in the past six months. And the hosts over there are strenuously opposed to vaccine mandates or requirements, right? They let you know every chance they get. Joe, you canceled all medical freedom today with your broad edict and your mandates. When you start diving into private business, that's where the rubber hits the road. This is tyranny, and it's getting more and more aggressive. This is autocracy. It is the beginning of the communist-style social credit system. These demands are so obviously irrational that forcing you to accept them without complaint is the whole point of the exercise. It is a form of sadomasochism. It is dominance and submission. It's about power. If they can make you take medicine you don't want or need, they've won. You are theirs. You belong to them. Sadomasochism. Spicy, Tucker. Who would willingly suffer in such submission? It's why Fox News has been celebrating the very brave resistors in other organizations who have resigned from their jobs or gotten fired or placed on some kind of leave rather than get the vaccine or be owned. They brought on nurses and teachers, even an army lieutenant colonel. But their newest champion is someone at another cable channel, ESPN, a host there named Sage Steele, who is now suspended from being on air, partly for appearing on a podcast and going after her employer for mandating vaccines. I think to mandate, I respect everyone's decision. I really yeah. do. Yeah. But to mandate it is um, sick mm -hmm. and it's scary yeah. to me in many ways. Um, but I have a job, yeah. a job that I love and frankly, a job that I, that I need. But again, I love it. Yeah. I just, um, I'm not surprised it got to this point, especially mm -hmm. with Disney. I mean, a, a global company. <laughs> okay. So as you just saw there, ESPN's Sage Steele had the courage of her convictions. She got vaccinated because they required her, but then she went and she called out her employer's vaccine mandate, even though it got her suspended, which naturally made her a hero at Fox News. I think Sage is brave for being willing to say exactly what she thinks. I agree with everything Sage said. I don't think it makes sense for, uh, for ESPN to be mandating the vaccine for employees. I think they should be allowing employees to make their choices. The irony here, again, is that none of these people, Clay Travis, Brian Kilmeade, to Tucker Carlson, have shown that same bravery to call out their own network and their own employer. The Fox News vaccine requirement is stricter than the one proposed by President Joe Biden and described as tyranny and creeping communism. Fox is requiring unvaccinated employees to be tested every day. And inside the buildings, I mean, just look at this video of the opening of their new DC bureau. Everyone is wearing masks and are most likely also vaccinated or getting tested every day because that is what their company is mandating. Now, Tucker Carlson has been the most vocal anti-vaccination voice in American media. 
And unless he just does not actually believe any of the stuff he's saying, and it's all just a craven, cynical act for ratings while he himself is vaxxed and people die needlessly by the thousands, he might just be highlighting all those other people who showed actual courage as he works up his own courage, you know, kind of through osmosis to walk out. Because if you truly believe you are suffering under the sadomasochistic heel of a tyrannical employer, even if they are paying you lots and lots of money, even if you don't want people to think you're a total fraud, then you have got to have the guts to call out Fox News or resign in protest. There's no other option. It's the only way forward. You can do it, Tucker. I believe in you. Yeah, but he's not going to do that. If he really felt as strongly about vaccine mandates as he says he does, he would quit. He would resign in protest. But he's not doing that because Tucker Carlson is a disingenuous, bad faith actor and he knows his role. He's a propagandist. The words that come out of his mouth, I don't know how much of it he believes, but either way, this should prove to everyone that he's a bullshitter. But Fox's audience doesn't know about the vaccine policy at Fox News. Fox's audience doesn't know or even probably think about the prospect of Tucker Carlson himself being vaccinated. So while Tucker Carlson tells them how bad vaccine mandates are and how bad the vaccine is, they're going to listen. Meanwhile, he's protected. At his place of employment, everyone's wearing masks. Everyone's vaccinated or testing daily. He's vaccinated most likely. And so, you know, he, he'll say one thing, but his actions don't line up with his words. And that is, by definition, fraudulent. So uh, it's, this is really interesting. I don't think this was a good idea for him to address this because it just, it makes him look like a bigger fraud than he already did. But still, I mean, um, I think that this will appease his audience. So in the end, it's not going to hurt him or his ratings. But either way, if you still think that Tucker Carlson is some sort of a brave truth teller, you have been duped. Beta male.